Well, I mean, it gets upset about a $4 item being declined for purchase, so he kills people. This is why everybody having guns is not, like, the solution to stopping gun violence. Restrictions on guns would reduce the amount of guns available to people to just do random shootings when they get, just get angry. This is just messed up. But the, the gas station clerk who uh, locked the doors uh, is being charged for uh, failing to actually help people and by, in, in a sense, helping the guy kill people. She joins us live with the details. Camille, just terrifying moments to talk about here. Yeah, an absolutely horrific situation for these customers. I mean, imagine you're going in to maybe buy a pack of cigarettes or a pack of gum or whatever, and suddenly you find yourself locked inside and you can't get out, and the gas station attendant is not letting you out until it's too late. Take a listen. I think he should be charged. I really do. A gas station clerk is now being charged in connection with a triple shooting at a Detroit gas station on May 6th. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy says Al Hassan Aish played a role in the shooting death of an innocent customer because he pushed an automatic security button locking the doors. It happened at this mobile on McNichols near the lodge. Customers trapped inside with the gunman upset about his $4 purchase being declined. Police say Samuel... Usually, the, 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 the button to uh, automatically lock the doors is to prevent uh, a person from escaping. The, usually, you don't hit the button when the guy has a gun and is looking to shoot everybody in the store. McCray shot all three of them. Gregory Kelly died at the scene. The other two men survived. Minding your own business, you come into a business and you get shot. I mean, what kind of system would that make? Meanwhile, the store clerk, just 22 years old, was not in harm's way. He was behind the bulletproof. He should have never locked the door. Aish is being charged. Well, he was behind bulletproof glass, so yeah, he was protected. He, yeah, he should have left the doors open and told people to run. With involuntary manslaughter, investigators say he eventually pushed a security button to unlock the doors but failed to tell the customers. They say that was just seconds before McCray started shooting. Wow, he unlocked the doors but didn't even tell anybody? That's messed up. Like, dude, what? Why? Why Why did you have to do this? Did you? I don't know. It is, that, this is just crazy. So I can tell you right now that the gas station remains closed. Police closed it down the day of the shooting. Actually happened in the middle of the night, so later that day. They closed it down because it was an unauthorized business, not licensed. Nothing to do with the shooting, but it still remains closed to this day. And again, this uh, suspect expected to be formally charged, and we'll get a first look at him tomorrow morning.